Hi everybody, I'm Philip Duncan. Thanks for joining us for our weekend weather update and the outlook for next week where we've got a significant cooling off period coming for some regions. But let's kick off with Friday's animated wind map. And in fact, let me just step off the screen for a second. Look at the size of this enormous anticyclone. Huge uh, anticyclonic wind going around it. That's why we're getting this humid northeasterly around the North Island. And it's a nor'wester in many parts of the south. Although down towards Otago, there is a slight easterly there. There could be a bit of convergence where the two winds meet around the ranges. Could be a downpour in that area. But the real rain is coming into the west coast. That's going to develop tonight or today actually around Fiordland. And then it moves up tonight further towards Greymouth where it very slowly gets there at some point on Saturday. So this is how it looks for Saturday. There's that rain. You can see it's sort of dry for the northern part of the west coast. So this area of rain will slowly track northwards. You've got westerly winds blowing right across the South Island, so there won't be any of that convergence cloud on the east coast. There'll be some high cloud and maybe even a few spits of rain getting over some of the ranges there. It is quite intense, some of these downpours on the west coast, especially around the Franz Joseph area, Mount Sp uh, Aspiring, those areas. Now further north, we do have some drizzle patches coming through. There could be a downpour later on into the afternoon as well around the Bay of Plenty area. Otherwise, similar airflow, although it tilts a bit more northwest. So again, eastern areas, you're going to be pretty warm. We get to Sunday, I'm sorry to say, but that cold front is just falling apart as it moves into the North Island. There'll be a few showers here and there. It's actually quite hard to even pinpoint where at this point, although Bay of Plenty does seem to be a candidate. And I think Taranaki might get a shower as well, but whether or not it affects everybody, uh, that's remained to be seen. There'll still be downpours on the west coast, although dry spells are increasing. And as you can see, most of the eastern side of the country is dry on Sunday. So let's go to next week. Monday's setup is like this. We're between highs. So there's a high over there towards Aussie, and this one's departing away. But this is the key one to watch. It's going to change shape from being a east to west system to a north to south one. If we get that in the middle of winter, we get snowstorms. We're not getting a snowstorm, but it is going to, the temperature is going to drop next week quite a bit. Not on Monday so much, although it will be a little bit cooler with a southwest angle there and a few downpours coming in for coastal Southland and over on the west coast. A couple of showers also around the North Island here and there. Some of them could be a bit heavy into the afternoon. Then we get to Tuesday and just briefly, high pressure sort of comes in a wee bit, a couple of isolated showers here and there. The airflow is a lighter southwester, so it won't be quite as hot as it has been, but it's not yet the major cool down. That arrives here on Wednesday and across Thursday. Look at the southerly coming straight on in. Wet weather as well. We've got rain coming into Southland and some showers coming into Canterbury. Now don't expect huge amounts for some of you. Like South Canterbury, for example, might miss out on some of this, but it is coming in from the south and a fairly brisk southerly. The temperatures drop. Daytime high in Dunedin might only be 13 degrees and other areas around Southland 14 or 13 as well. So it's a much cooler day. And then we get to Thursday of next week. And you see what I mean? That high is stretched long north to south. And therefore, this southerly is coming out from the Southern Ocean. It's pretty cool. But I have to say, these eastern areas, while it looks like you've got rain, you probably only have a risk of drizzle and showers. The real rain looks further out to sea. One to keep an eye on, definitely one to keep an eye on. It might produce a little more rain than we're expecting, but it also might go the other way and become drier. So we don't want to lock in too much. Other than pointing out the temperatures will be dropping and it'll be a lot cooler around Wednesday, Thursday, next week, and then Friday, maybe even into the North Island. That is all from me for now. We'll catch you again on Monday. Have a great weekend.